This video is for Cassette Master and all the other tape recorder enthusiasts. It's an old 1950s WebCore tape recorder I got a couple of weeks ago. And it works, just that I don't have any tapes that are in good enough shape to really play on it. The tapes that I have are quite brittle because they're so old. And besides, many of them are B-wound, sometimes called and everything. But what I do, what I am glad to say is that this machine does work 100% except for the microphone. I guess it's not quite 100%. But that everything else works. And that uh, it is a pretty good quality machine. It's made by Webcore, which was a pretty well-known brand, which worked for Webster Chicago. It says, for the best results, use Webcore tape. And if you turn the light out, you can see that the Webster Chicago logo lights up. And right here it has left, stop, right. That's because the web core recorded in both directions. It says press for fast, record level, which is called an eye tube. And it glows kind of a greenish color. That's the output selector, 1, 2, 3, and 4, off volume, treble bass, this is a, this is a half track manual tape recorder, it doesn't have, it's not stereo, and if you press this down, if you put, engage the record, and do that, you can see the light lighting up the eye, the eye tube, I believe is a 65 eye tube, if I even got the name of it right, and here you can see the you can see the spindles turning, and you can hear a kind of hum coming from it if you put it close if you put the camera close to the machine. And sometimes, not right now, but sometimes you can hear a little bit of the old noise that some older pieces of equipment make when the volume control begins to wear out, kind of a type noise and when you and this one can do seven and a half for three and three fourths tapes it has a wheel turning inside there too to help the tape move along so now if we turn it off and put it in reverse you can see the eye tube lights up again and the wheels turn and here it gives you a guide for how much time is left on a large spool and how much time is left on a small spool. Does the same here. This right here is an early type of plastic called Bakelite. It was invented by Leo Hendrick Bakeland in 1903 or 1904. And if you look right here, you can see that this plastic is some more other kind of plastic. It's not Bakelite. I don't think they could make clear Bakelite. And the case is in a very 50s type appearance. You can tell by looking at it. Very 50s motif. The tubes in this are all good. It works completely. And you can hear the motor running perhaps in the video. I don't really know. But if it can, that's good because then you can see that it works. I didn't. I, and this is 100% working. Except for the microphone, as I said. Microphone is a crystal microphone that wore out over the years. I don't really know what's wrong with it, but I presume the crystal might be, since they were sensitive to temperature and everything, that maybe that's part of what's wrong with it. So you can see the machine again. Now for playback, even though I don't have a reel, I'll put it on the playback mode. You can see the reel turning for the right. You can see it turning on the left. Now if I press it down, it said press for fast, so if I press it down, it goes even faster. Now reverse. This tape recorder, I believe, is manufactured around 1951 or 1952 about the same time as the other web call I have on my page. Thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. By the way, if anybody knows when the Robbins and Myers slash Hunter fan is, I put on my page, my YouTube channel. I hope they can let me know. 
and I uh, I think it might be a Hunter Zephyr, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, bye.